the footage you're getting ready to see is footage from years ago, a um, few years back. And the reason why, I just put it up because I had two cameras. I learned real quick that, and I hadn't been filming very long, that you need to have two cameras, two different angles, because one of my cameras decided not to work. Um, at the time, I had no idea it was not working. So I was so disappointed with some of the footage that I wasn't even going to post it. So I showed my family and some friends, and they're like, what? You're not going to post that? I've never seen nothing like this before. That is crazy, dude. You've got to post this. So, well, that's what I'm going to do now. Well, hey, guys. Um, I was in Ohio yesterday. Now I'm in West Virginia. Um, I'm jumping back and forth, trying to hunt, trying to find some big deer. Been checking cameras in both states. So the deer comes in broadside and I draw back, set my pin on him and shot and I shot him a little bit low. I must have misjudged my yardage a little bit. And it takes off and you can see the blood going everywhere. He's too little. I shot that big buck and then a bear come in and now he's tracking the blood trail of my deer so that that's not good bears right down here I'll show him to you he's down there so you can see bear bears right down there somewhere there he is you can see him right there and he's tracking my deer that's not good now I try to shoot him off I even wave my hands at him everything else trying to get him to leave and he's down there wanting to track my 
deer had a shot. So that's not the best thing you could have happen. And the foilers down that direction too. Hopefully the deer's got a fatal hit. Looked like there's blood everywhere. I'll show you here, but just in case the deer's still alive, hopefully it's not. But the bear is gonna go down there. You can see blood all over the snow down there. You can see all the blood there. Um, so now the bear has already been tracking my deer over the hill. You saw on video. The deer went down. I eventually, I could barely see the little mound. It looked like it went down. And I seen the bear go over the little mound. The deer jumps up. The deer takes off running. The bear takes off after it. So it's still early afternoon. I'm getting stuff gathered up. I'm, I'm like, I just need to get down there right now. You know, the sun's bright. You know, it's great light. It's melting the snow off. You could see to get the footage I got in the snow because you'll see I was in the stand a little longer and you get ready to find out why. Um, it was melting the snow quick. Well, this, the sun's beating at me and hitting the bank behind me. So most of the snow behind me had already melted, but in front of me, it still had a little bit. And so anyways, I'm getting my camera equipment gathered up, put in a backpack. And cause I, you see me, I'll shoot another bear away. Hey, hey, trying to get its attention. So it wouldn't chase my deer and run my deer off, you know, and gonna need it. So I'm getting stuff gathered up and I, the sun's real bright and I see something shining up on the bank behind me. And I was like, that's another bear. It starts coming down the hill straight at me. And I'm like, hey, hey, and it didn't care. It, it every now and then you hear, it sounded like it popped its teeth or something at me and you, <clears throat> you could hear a noise. I was like, I was like, the wind's blowing right at it, but you got a lot of blood down there. He fumbled around above me for a while. And by then most of the snow's already melted, but I wasn't about to, and I wanted to get down there while the snow was there so I could track the deer really easy, but I wasn't about to get out of the tree now. Snow or not snow, melting or not, because that bear wouldn't leave. He stayed within 100, well, 100 to 75 yards and pacing all above me the entire time. So finally, I was like, I'm just going to, you know, make some more commotion and, and get down. And maybe he'll leave. And as soon as I started making commotion, he started coming towards me. I was like, forget this. I started fumbling around, putting the camera equipment back up and trying to get, get him on video closer he got i realized this is a big bear i'm gonna shoot him i got a bear tag so he gets closer and closer so i'm spinning around trying to get him on camera i draw back and i tuck that thing right in behind that shoulder close as you could get because he's quartering towards me anyway he's coming right at me and he turns a little bit to where i could get a quartering he's quartering towards me but i could get a little better shot i wouldn't let him go and get any closer because you're going to see in the video he was coming to my tree so i tuck it there and i shoot him i hit him and when i hit him he flops around, rolls, boom, right into my tree. You're going to see the camera go, that was part of me shaking probably, but that was him running into my tree. And you'll see on video, I, I spin the camera straight down, and literally he's flipping around below me, and then he rolls back behind me, and I spin around and shoot him again. So now I shot that big bear. So I get down doing the recovery. Unfortunately, it was the camera that wasn't working right because I lost all my stuff on my SD card. Um, but I, I was doing the recovery and I said, man, I, I better get done and I better go track that deer before it gets dark. So it's getting dark and I'm packing up everything and I'm by myself and it starts getting dark and I start tracking it and there's no snow left and it all melted. So a lot of the blood and the snow had run off because I was in this tree so long because of the big bear. So I get around the hill, I'm tracking it, and I get around the hill and I can see some snow on the north side. It's still a little snow. You can see the tracks, the bear tracks, literally right in the blood trail, tracking that deer. And so I get now I climb over this log, and there's snow on the log, and you can see where they both the deer jumped it and there's blood on it. And you can see the bear tracks where he climbed from the log is really cool. And I'm climbing over the log, and all of a sudden I look up and this little headlamp I have sucked. It was not any good. I look up and there's another that bear, I guess, uh, that bear or another bear. Didn't know which way led to the deer, the blood trail. It was coming up the logging road, and I stepped over that log and looked up, and when I did, that thing couldn't have been eight yards. I went, oh! I scared it as bad as I scared itself. I mean, it scared me to death because I looked up, and it's like literally just walking straight at me. It runs up the bank. I was like, all right, I'm done for the night. <clears throat> I'm going home. I'll come back and recover both these critters tomorrow morning. So the next morning, I go back. 
thinking, man, please, Lord, let me find that deer if there's anything left of it. I've got a giant bear laying up there. So I go up, I know where the bear's at, he's down. So I start tracking that deer and I get around the hill and you can see the tracks and stuff and you know from that previous night because it's cold and <clears throat> that night's supposed to got down to 20s I think and so you can see in the snow there was snow on that side you can still see the tracks and stuff so I'm tracking around the hill and I look up you know I don't know probably 50 yards from where I found the last little bit of blood because the snow's melted on the other side again because the sun hitting it and I look and there's hair everywhere and I was like, oh, there's my deer. And I was like, that ain't a good sign. I get up there and there's a hair all over the place. You can tell where they've been feeding on it. And you can see where they drug it. So I'm tracking it and all of a sudden I go up there a little farther and I found some more hair and a big piece of hide they ripped off of it. I mean, a big old piece of hide and a, I think a part of a rear leg and there was nothing else. I did see in the snow um, on that one bank where there's still a little snow left, there was some coyote tracks with the bear tracks. So I don't know if the coyotes come in there, you know, fighting for the, the deer, maybe attacking the eyes of the bear, and the bear just literally carried that deer off. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize um, for the missing footage because I had two cameras running. Unfortunately, the camera I was used for the zoomed in for the kill shot and the recoveries um, I did not record anything, evidently. Um, it even said recording, but when I checked my SD card the following day, it said no images found. I was absolutely devastated. So the SD card you're seeing now in the footage was from my second camera, which is good. I had that running too. Um, but I put it up and said, well, I'll never use that footage because I didn't get me drawn back on animals. I didn't get the kill shot on the bear. I was just devastated. Um, so when I showed some of these little pieces of footage to friends and family, like, hey, people would love to see that. That's like really cool. So I did my best to put it together for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram because every milestone I hit like 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do giveaways, but you got to follow me on Instagram to be part of that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and check it out. Thank you so much. God bless you.